What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Silver the Hedgehog. Let's begin today's lesson at the very top of our page and draw on that center spike. We're gonna start right in the middle at the very top. It's gonna bend this out towards the left. Come down and then pull that in. Let's go back up to the top, round up the right side, and pull that in towards the same height. Now the spikes on the side, we're gonna point up and out. Let's start from the bottom, pull this up, and then bend that out. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then we'll pull this back in towards the head. Come down an angle, round at the bottom, and pull that in. Now we're gonna add one more set of spikes pointing out towards the side. So start on the left, going up, and then out. And I'll pull it down and in towards the side of the brow. Come down, and we'll bend that in to right about there. Now this spike is gonna blend in towards the brow. So let's start on the left, put this in, and then bend that down. And then we'll round out the bottom. Coming down, and then up. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the eye coming down, and just pull that up underneath in the center. Go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's add a thick edge along the outside. Starting from the top left, step out. I'm just gonna taper this in. And then we'll fill in the outside. Now we're gonna go back and add the tip of the ears in between these two spikes. Let's start on the left, going up and out. Come down and back in. And then from the top, we'll step in, just curve the inside of the ear coming down, trace the outside. Now let's go back to the eyes and push the pupils towards the inside. Let's we'll start from the top left, draw a half oval, coming down, and just pulling that up. Let's trace those ovals along the inside. small curve on the top for a highlight and we'll fill the bottom for the pupils. Let's go to the center and draw a circle for the nose and a small circle on the top for a highlight and we'll fill in the bottom. Let's draw the side of the muzzle starting over on the left side of the eye curve around and then pull that in line this up on the right do the same thing. Connect the ends with a curve. I'm just going to bring this down just underneath the nose and then back up on the right. From the side of the muzzle, we're going to add a fold. Going out and then up. And it'll shift the mouth over towards the right side. Start with the curve going up and out. Add a bracket on the end. Now before we draw on the bottom spikes, let's move to the center and draw that fur around the collar. We start on the left side, curve around and then in. Now we're gonna add a point going up, come in and then bend that down in the center. Let's add a fold going up towards the right. Going out and then up, step down, going out and up underneath the head. Let's go to the side of the fur, curve the body, coming down and then in towards the hips. And we'll bend the legs going out towards the ankle. Let's start back on the left, going out and then down. Now you want to round out the bottom with the curve. And then from the inside, we're going to follow that same curve going up and in towards the body. 
pulls off the center with a straight line. Now I'm going to wrap those thick cuffs around the ankle. On the left side, I'm going to step up, draw an oval, going all the way around, and back in on the inside of the leg. On the outside of the cuff, draw two straight angle lines coming down. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Now I'm going to add a thin trim on the inside. On the left, come down and across. Step down and draw that again. From the inside of the cuff, this curly ankle coming in and down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Coming down and just bending that up on the outside. Let's place that thick toe cap on top of the foot. We start on the outside, start by going up and bending that in, sort of aiming towards the corner of the cuff. And we'll go back down and add a thick sole. And let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now we're going to go back up to the toe cap, curve this in and then down towards the sole. From the outside of the cuff, angle this down and out in behind the toe cap. I'm also going to add a thick stripe along the top of the foot. Just pull that up underneath the cuff. Now let's move back up and draw the hands along the side of the body, starting with the thumb. We're going to start right here. Start by curving this up and in. Line this up on the right. Going out and then down. Let's round up the inside of the thumb. Coming around and then bending that out. Let's go to the outside of the thumb, step up, we're going to draw the first finger, go up, round up the finger, and then just bend that in. From the bottom of the finger, add a seam coming down towards the palm, and then we'll add the second finger. Starting from the side, it's going to curl this around, coming down, almost like an oval, and then bend that back up. And I'll add one more finger on the outside. Come all the way around and just tuck that up underneath that finger. Let's go back to the bottom of the thumb for the palm. Coming down and then up in behind that outside finger. Let's add that circle in the center of the palm. Going around and just tucking that up in behind the fingers. and we'll just trace that along the inside. Now let's layer that thick cuff in behind the hand. We'll start from the side of the finger, going all the way around, and then down in behind the thumb. And then from the bottom of the thumb, come down and then back out in behind the hand. Let's add that trim along the inside. On that curve, going down, and along the bottom, and we'll trace that along the outside. Now, going back to the top of the body, let's bend the arms going up and then out towards the elbow. Bend the arm coming out and down in behind that cuff. Let's trace the arms along the bottom. Going up and out. And then down in behind the cuff. Now with the arms and hands in place, let's draw on those back spikes. Let's we'll start on the left side. Going out and then down in behind the hand. And then we'll go to the side of the cheeks. Go out and then down. And then finally, we'll add the tail over on the right side. Start from the hip, 
taper out and up. Just taper that back in. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Silver the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.